All right, guys, special treat for you guys. This rig is not in the show. Look at this character. <laughs> How are you guys? Hey, there's, this is Ed. He stalked me down a couple of days ago. He's parked in the uh, the same RV camp that I am. Spin around here, Whoa, just around the bend. So he saw Lily a couple of days ago and uh, got to her Lily, we were talking. Right. And then he said, hey, do you want to see my rig? Well, yeah. So here we are in front of Lib Libertas. Libertas. And there's a story there. We'll talk about that. Um, so, Ed, you're good enough to give us a little tour of your rig. Yep. So, uh, this is uh, not something that's even shown at the uh, right. show this year. And this is by Advanced RV. Out of Willoughby, Ohio. Um, it's a fully custom band, so you get to pick out all, everything on the inside it was handpicked by my wife and I. So, we can take you in and show you. So let me just uh, kind of give you guys a quick uh, panoramic here. Uh, Ed is not a not a small guy. And how tall is this? It's right at six four. Six four, and you still have clearance, still which is have. just crazy. Look at this, guys. First of all, I love the color scheme. Look at this. You guys did a great job. Well, my probably wife had a did. woman involved. <laughs> we love the women. And, and she right. wanted it light. Uh, we have a slightly contrasting color on the. Uh, Galley the cabin here, right? But everything else is basically the same, and there's a nice texture on it, so it makes it a little yeah. more unique. So. so the first thing I do when I step in here is it's hard not to notice the cabinetry. And if I look down, and this this might not come across right, guys, but so this is the end of the cabinet right here. But if you look way at the end, it actually tapers in. What's up with that? I've never seen that before. Well, Most of the time, I it's just a straight line. Uh, the owner of Advanced RV, which is the company that I purchased it from. Um, believes so there's about a five inch taper from here to here so the cabinets vary from 12 inches here all the way down to seven and the purpose is that when you're sitting here you don't feel like you're closed in by the cabinets over your head and he kind of does the same thing on this side but not quite not as too extreme wow that is custom cabinetry isn't it yeah. i love this it's just so gorgeous and this is like brushed aluminum on top right um I just love all these. So the higher end rigs always have a, you know, what do you call this? A radius. Radio, 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 radius. Um, and you got quite a few of them. I mean, look, it's down here. It's here. It's here. It's up in this corner here, too. Yep. And this is a pretty unique cabinet. I think this kind of demonstrates uh, Advanced RV, I think, is known for the cabinet work. And if you look in there, oh my gosh. there is um, like six joints coming together. You guys see that? It's all CNC. Machine, oh, yeah, um, and it just um, comes together perfectly. Look so. at the, this curved cabinet, it's just amazing, right? Yeah, so great. Um, so I noticed a couple of things in here, Ed. Right off the bat, is this really sweet fridge? What's the deal with this? This is uh, something that they hadn't previously used a lot of, they have used uh, this manufacturer, but not this exact model. So, uh, basically, it's a very large refrigerator. It's isotherm mm. made out of Italy, and um, likewise is a very good size freezer for on the bottom. Ginormous. I thought mine was big. Yours is even so, larger. Um, and th the best thing about this um, refrigerator is that most refrigerators, you close it, and then you have to put a safety latch, or you go down the road and it swings open. Yep. This is one close, and it's done. It almost sounds like a commercial kitchen, you know, like a bar fridge right. type of thing, right? Um, and they put in a nice... Uh, uh oh, don't make us jealous. Oh, yeah, you did it. <laughs> Nothing's pretty skinny, too, but super yeah. effective here. It's probably, what, four inches wide? I probably be three and a half in there and down to two. So. Oh, my God, it tapers, too. Look at this, guys. That is custom cabinetry. Um, all right, I can't help but notice this Star Trek looking thing. Uh, so this, what is uh, this? This controls boy? all the systems on the rig. So I don't have a whole panel of things for uh, different control systems. This is a silver leaf system. So it's, it controls my uh, AC power and my inverter. I can get on and off DC. And it's very important. This, um, Thing has a Volta system, which is a 48 volt system, about 12,000. Hold on here. Did you say Volta? Volta. We know Volta. Volta and other rigs besides Travados. And so tell we us about actually, Volta. We were actually in the rigs a little early. This is the second one that Advanced RV put into a rig. Really? Um, 
and what we do here is this is my battery currently at 77 percent and if i hit here i get wow look all, at that guys all 14 cells 14 cells tells me what my voltage is in each one and what my temperature is so that is and i can heat right here on my uh, cells as needed so that's amazing um but let me ask you this so voltage claim to fame certainly at Turbato space is i have one green button and a single gate right. so and it looks pretty complex what do you got have that here's my little uh, green button my look at that gauge. that's familiar it's an old and old fashioned volta gauge you know not the new upgrade <laughs> Doesn't like you turn have. color Ooh. <laughs> um, and this is a controller for the Espa system, which is the diesel heater. Oh, uh, yeah, diesel heater. Heat okay. And the hot water. So. I think MC uses that. That's crazy. Uh, look at this microwave. Now, how do you keep your microwave from not flying into your head or onto the floor? Well, they came up with some unique things. Um, they had never put uh, this oven in uh, thing. They were having trouble with their microwave supplier. This is just uh, we went to William Sonoma, ordered yeah. this, sent it to them, and said, "You guys figure it out." figure out how much clearance they needed. Um, they used the feet and screwed it in through the cabinet. And so it doesn't also move at all. That, really? Wow. Um, it's a great, great design. You know, I think everything they do in the design work is um, kind of elegant. You know, yeah. They go for practical, but try to step it up. Really well thought out. Yeah. Um, have you tried making pizza in here? Um, I've heated up pizza from Walmart. <laughs> Ooh, so, uh, so we have a tip on how to make pizza, right? <laughs> so I do have an oven. <laughs> you certainly do. Um, I don't That's have awesome. a grill, so uh, <laughs> That's cool. Um, think, just it yeah, really feels. Too, I, I would yeah. like to just show you just from please, moment, and I demonstrated this to you the other night. Oh yeah, you guys got to um, see this. We have an electric bed, and what's unique about this is that we actually get to, we picked out the uh, foam consistency so it would operate uh, sleep the way we want it and basically watch this guys bed comes down and it's queen wide and with the headboard back it's king wow and you see how fast that was and what did you hear besides a little bit of uh, cover material and it goes it's right back. It's almost silent. Look how fast that is. That is... That really changes my perception of a fold-up bed. And then you have like a sleeping bag type of... What do you call yeah, that? we use a super bag. A uh, super bag. And it's stored up here. We have the cabinet kind of built. For it. it has a winter side and a summer side. Right. Um, so you're not doing sheets. You're, she's going to build into a comforter. Yeah. And, and um, yeah. you just pull those sheets out and wash them. So you got TV here. Yep. I just love this cabinetry. I'm swayed up here, which is cool. Until you have to squish a mosquito, then you got a problem, right? right. <laughs> but the track lighting is so Lots nice. Lots of lighting. Lots of One lighting. One of the things I noticed um, when I was walking around is is how sleek your vehicle looks. Right. Um, certainly my Travato has a bunch of vents cut in and, and water ports and things like that. Right. So, um one of the things that attracted me to it oh, is, yeah. let's is um, that they go for a very stealthy yeah, look. Let's see uh, this stealthiness. What, what? Such a handsome rig. So on the outside, there's no openings on the passenger side. Um, I do have a 12 volt uh, plug under here, as well as an air chuck. I do have an onboard uh, air compressor. But basically, no vents down the side. Right. And a lot of the windows. And most of the vans have, you know, I, I know some of the better known brands, Airstreams, they have like 12 openings on the side. And here we're very clean. For uh, sure. We do have our utilities right here. So wow. I have my macerator, I have my dump valves. Macerator control. There's an inside light. <laughs> Hot and cold water for the shower. Air chuck and water fill. That is insane. And you have a macerating. Uh... The macerator is right there. And just... What kind of toilet? It's a conventional. To our, our RVs. Okay, that's fascinating. Cool. Um, now, sometimes the places we park are not very level, right? Right. So and now I solve my problem by driving my wheels up onto things. But you have a fancy way to do this, right? Well, um, 
most of the time we just want the back of the brick just a little higher than the front so i just have that helps you the sleeping high, right right yeah so you're saying this comes with leveling Level, self leveling uh, jet right yeah uh, down here if, if there are options but options leveling uh, uh, right you're over here to the right uh, they're a european brand you get them right here just so down here yeah. okay um, you can see I, that and i have uh oh, right there that's a good one snap pads on them which are show but they help increase the diameter of the metal pads. oh sure and we also have air suspension on the back air suspension so dual wheels yep. and this is the 170 extended extended base so it's, it's so come around back in uh, we're gonna jump back in the vehicle but um i noticed this uh which is a really stealthy looking light thing yes. and uh, what is that for many about? years they they had typical lanterns which are usually three inches by about four inches long um this rig is equipped with uh, surround cameras. So there's four cameras, one on each side and front and back. Uh, this is a 3D printed uh, fixture that they make in-house. It has LED lighting, it has a motion detector, and it has a camera. So uh, the camera is used for the uh, monitor. And then uh, if there's motion, the lights come on. Lights come on. Wow, is that cool? 3D printed. It's a pass-through cabinet, and but uh, well, the cool thing is you can access it outside, obviously, right. and from the inside. Right, um, right there. So it's uh, that's super cool. So obviously, jump back inside. Uh, it's really windy here, which is nice because it kind of broke the temperature. It was pretty, right. it was it was pretty warm, warm uh, here in Tampa at the Super Show. Um, so speaking of girl, a lot of people name their rigs. My right. my Travato's named Lily. Long story there. You may or may not know that. And uh, but you are, your rig is named. Libertas. Libertas. So and it what's took up with us, that? It took us weeks to come up with it because we didn't realize to advance RV you had to have a name of a rig because they don't build to a number. They build just specific. <laughs> um, so Libertas <laughs> is uh, Latin for freedom. And the way I we travel, um, you know, we, spay, we do spend some time at campgrounds, probably 10% of our times, and the rest we're just boondocking wherever we're heading and we just use various programs to find available free parking mm -hmm. uh, with the Volta system you know I can run the air conditioning up to 10 hours and um, be just in great shape so um, and that's along with cooking in an oven, oven and yeah. we also have a, uh, a cooktop here it's a induction cooktop so I thought you were gonna say a, dr a drawer dishwasher but <laughs> no I think I'd I get to do the dishes. <laughs> you're, the, um, you're the million dollar dishwasher. <laughs> but um, I think, you know, um, it, it's just well appointed, yeah. you know, and um, it's just been a great experience for the last two years. We've done about 50,000 miles. Really? That's incredible. So, so Advanced RV, I wasn't familiar with them really until you mentioned this. So maybe how did you guys, not, this was your first RV? This is my first is RV. Is that crazy? This guy's all in. Um, so why Advanced RV and what's their... What's the quick story on those guys? Well, you know, I think uh, I started at a high end. I went out and looked at the Airstreams, and there were some things about the Airstreams that um, I had viewed some YouTubes. Um, one was the propane, uh, the loudness of the generator, mm -hmm. and the way the bit comes together with lots of pieces. Um, this is just a much more preferred way of sleeping on a bed that's just designed for sleeping. Um, <clears throat> And somehow on the internet I found Advanced RV and Advanced RV um, is a very small company. They built probably 120 vans over a seven year period. Hmm. It was started by Mike Neundorfer, uh, basically because he couldn't find a product that he was happy with. I think he started out with the Pleasure Way and that was good, but there was some other things that he wanted Just to add. a little bit of lacking. And, um, so he formed a company, he hired great craftsmen. They're very passionate. Right. Um, there's about 35 employees, and um, they've just done a great job. And you know, while they, a lot of them are similar, they can build whatever you want. Um, and um, it, it's just a good company to be around. So I know you're probably chomping on the bit, wondering um, how much this is. I mean, it's 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 on the high end. It's on the high end. I would say uh, there's not many B vans that you can spend this much money on. It's, it's just got to the point where, you know, I got exposed to them. I saw the kind of quality they built. Right. 
and um, you know, I could be happy in a lot of different vans. I'm just happiest. Happiest in, in this one. In this and you got exactly what you wanted. Well, thank you so much for sharing. Um, I know this is the kind of stories I just love to, to share. And uh, I mean, look at the spineless guy's face. It's just. <laughs> I'm very proud of it. It's a Libertas, right? It's, it's just. Libertas, it's yes. really. Um, and serendipity is on his, on his shirt here. And again, I just love sharing these. And a, a subscriber, that's how he found me. And this right. has just, you know, just been such a warming experience for my heart and all you guys. And. And to get to share your right. traveling and home. I learned a lot about uh, the Volta system because you had very close connections. You went to the National Rally. Yeah. They did some work. So now I'm anticipating the same kind of work yeah. on our unit. That's so. really cool. Well, Ed, thank you so much All for right, your time you. and give us a tour. And uh, that's how we roll. We learn together and then we share. Grab your RV Freedom. <laughs>